covering the villages for you. T.K. Cross and the VNN News Team. On today's Lifestyle Show, we'll bring the Learn and Grow Expo to you, and we'll tell you about a 5K to honor the heroes of 9-11. Hi there, and thank you for joining us. The Enrichment Academy has released their new fall catalog, which is packed with over 300 new course offerings from cooking lessons to history lessons and so much more. And they kicked off the new season with a Learn and Grow Expo. Today is one of our biannual expos here to promote our fall, winter, October through March courses and speaker series. We're excited to be here at Rohan to showcase all uh, some of our instructors. We have over 83 instructors here today showcasing their talents and sharing what they are going to teach. The expo is a great way to learn and talk to the instructors directly about the courses that they're going to hold. It's kind of like a walking catalog. So um, it's a great way to engage and learn more about the class before registration begins, which is Monday, September 23rd. So you have the weekend to look over the catalog and see what you want to do and come out today and meet the instructors, ask questions. We have a raffle, we have entertainment, we have lots of fun stuff going on and we are excited to kick off the fall winter season when classes start October 1st. So we have a lot of new classes coming on. We have uh, new classes pretty much in every category and uh, a lot of new speakers. Interestingly, um, we have a great speaker coming here at the end of October who's coming from England. He is a renowned speaker and we are excited to have him come here and share his talents and knowledge. And we've got a lot of existing instructors coming back. Uh, we have some great new gardening and home type classes uh, coming on and uh, some new technology classes and history and art, so you can always find something to do with the Enrichment Academy. We're expecting between 800 and 1,000 to attend this event today. Uh, and again, we do have 83 instructors showcasing their talents, so there's uh, definitely a lot to see. People really enjoy this event to you know, engage and meet the instructor before they sign up and to learn about the programming before they sign up. So it, this is a really valuable event to learn more about the program and about the things that you may want to do, new or old, um, and just to you know, come on out and, and learn more. For more information and class registration, you can visit the Enrichment Academy website at theenrichmentacademy.org. Classes start October 1st. The Tunnel to Towers 5K in the Villages is set for early November. Stefan Siller was a firefighter assigned to Brooklyn Squad 1 who died trying to rescue people from the Twin Towers on September 11th, 2001. And in November, the foundation created in his memory will host a fundraising 5K at the Villages Polo Club. Siller had just finished his shift earlier that same morning, but after hearing that a plane had hit the North Tower of the World Trade Center, he went back to get his gear and headed over to the area. As he drove his truck to the entrance of the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, he found it was closed for security reasons. So he put on about 60 pounds of gear and walked through the tunnel to offer his help. The Tunnel to Towers Foundation was created in his memory to raise money to help other frontline workers, veterans, and their families. The Villages hosted one of the Foundation's 5K races for the first time last year. This year, the 5K will start at 9 a.m. on November 9th at the Villages Polo Club. The race is open to runners of all ages. Several first responders wear their gear during the race to honor Siller. Awards are given out to the fastest firefighter and police officer or first responder, as well as to adults and younger runners who complete the race the fastest. Those interested in participating in this year's Tunnel to Towers 5K can register at the website shown on your screen. Up next, Clear the Shelter breaks a record for pet adoption. But first, we'll take a look at the weather in the villages for the next five days. Here's your VNN five day weather. Here's your WVLG weather forecast. Tomorrow we'll have temperatures in the low 90s with a 30% chance of showers. Wednesday and Thursday it'll be a little cooler. Temperatures in the low 80s, 80% 80 chance of showers. And partly sunny on Friday with a 50% chance of showers. From the WVLG Weather Center, I'm Bob Tebow.
Stay with us. More Village's lifestyle news is coming up right after this on VNN. As Americans, our freedom is guaranteed. But what about your financial freedom? I'm Jeff Jr., founder and CEO of Trajan Wealth. As a U.S. Marine, I learned exactly what it means to put others first. And I founded Trajan Wealth on that same principle. That's why it's my mission to make sure your retirement is built for your future. Right now, receive up to a 30% upfront bonus or up to 12% growth for your retirement income. Call Trajan Wealth today. Americanos in Spanish Springs invites you to experience a staff of fun yet caring restaurant professionals offering exceptional quality in food and service with a Greek feel and phenomenal menu, a sensational bar and fun atmosphere. Americanos is the perfect place for lunch, dinner, pre or post concert meals or football or just hang out and enjoy the specialty cocktails and great pricing. Americanos. Spanish Springs. Be part of the fun. Drive into savings during DeLuca Toyota's summertime sales event with the all new redesigned Camry and Tacoma models arriving daily. Upgrade to a new Toyota and keep your payments the same. Drive a new RAV4 for only $104 per month. Drive a new Tundra for only $298 per month. That's a lot of truck for a little buck. Get up to $10,000 off certified pre owned Toyota. Car buying the way it should be for 46 years. Toyota makes the car, D. Luca makes the difference. A Clear the Shelters campaign by the Marion County Animal Services has announced a record number of adoptions. The successful campaign took place from August 10th through September 10th and nearly 500 animals were adopted and another 250 were placed in foster homes. Volunteers dedicated over 1,000 hours to the campaign. Unfortunately though, more than 1,000 animals entered the shelter during that same time period, a 60% increase over last year. There are plenty of pets still looking for their forever home. If you're interested, you can visit their website shown below. A local club is hoping for basket donations for an upcoming event. Hot Chicks with Tattoos Not is asking for donations of large baskets. The club's fundraiser, called Pretty in Pink, is set for October 13th and will raise money for a free mammogram voucher program at UF Health Leesburg Hospital. If you'd like to donate to this worthy cause, please contact Kathy at 419-250-5430. Coming up, there is so much activity going on in the villages and we'll break it all down for you with the Recreation Roundup. But first, in order to keep facilities in the villages well maintained, here are some temporary closures to consider as you plan your week. Now, from the WVLG studios, it's Jack Hammer, D, and Director of Recreation and Parks, John Rohan. Rohan, Rohan, it is time for the Recreation and Parks. So what's happening in oh, Recreation Parks? Oh my gosh, what is it? The first day of fall was yesterday. I believe I did my math right. Yeah, and, it was. Uh, kicked off. Uh, we missed it. <laughs> <laughs> It's 90 degrees out. You just yeah. Uh, That's it's Florida's to, first. Yeah. It's tough to to go with the pumpkins and the, you know. Well, it's our Florida version of fall. You know what <laughs> I like to do? Um, I scarecrow people. You know those scarecrows you buy in the store? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I buy them and just put them in people's yards, and they <laughs> they 
wake up and they're like, who put these scarecrows in my yard? So it's called being scarecrowed. I got my son and my daughter. I got some neighbors. So cool. beware, the scarecrow man is out there. Oh, okay. So if you find a scarecrow in your yard, it could be John Rohan. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a fun thing to do. They're a couple bucks. You put them out in people's yard. And you come out there, and it's like, that's the signal <laughs> fall is officially here. Yeah. So that's why we do it. And um, fall is here in Reckon Parks. We had the Tea Expo on Friday. Oh, at, how did that go? It was slam-packed full I of people. Nice. You know, every room was full. Yeah. Parking lot was full. Overflow uh, down the road a little bit. Uh, wow. You know, it just, just shows uh, and demonstrates our residents want to be engaged in the lifestyle. Yeah. Um, and the energy was off the roof there. You had music playing. You had demonstrations. You had painting. You had, you know, that almost every instructor was present. And it, it worked out uh, just how we visioned it. You know, thanks to Melanie and her team, uh, you know, takes takes months to orchestrate. Yeah. Such a huge event where the entire center is is being used with uh, demonstrations and instructors. And then, um, of course, the brochure came out and people were walking around with their brochure. So today, guess what starts today? Registration. Yes. I was just getting ready. Jack. You with Thank me? Thank you. I'm Registration. You. Registration. <laughs> <laughs> Registration kicks off this morning. Um, it will be busy with the phone calls, and people can do it uh, online. Um, they can stop by their nearest uh, regional recreation center. Staff will be there. Um, and if you're not sure and you need a couple more days, grab that catalog, take a look at it, peruse it, circle one or two of the classes that you want to take you know i just thought about it so say uh do you have to go to the rec center where that course is being offered or can you register at any recreation center that's a great question you can register at any of the regional recreation centers you can actually do it online Mm -hmm. you can go and create your own portal you know we talk about the active Mm -hmm. net um recreation management software that we uh, utilize for our registration facility management you actually can go on there or if you already have an account you can go on there, create your account, and go right into the portal right. and pull up the T catalog and mm-hmm. the courses and actually register online. We we have about 70% of, of our folks who register for T classes do it online. Oh, good. Oh, that's true. So, yeah, so it, it shows that our residents like the, the technology aspect of it. But if you're not sure and you need some help with registration, you can go to the... Regional Recreation Center and the staff there will be glad to help you out. And got the lobby set up there. We can sit down and, and work with you on that. But it's going to be a busy day at the Regional Rec Centers. I'm really excited about that. The next thing that we're working on is, you know, we have our T instructors. And then we also have our 3,000 plus resident lifestyle volunteer group leaders. Right. Um, every year we renew their uh, facility permit. So um, the RLVG leaders will be getting an email uh, this week that talks to them about their permit will be available starting on October 1st, which is, I believe is a Tuesday. Yes. Um, so they can go to the center, um, that, that this one is, they will go to the center where the region that they meet in. So if you, um, meet over at La Hacienda, you would naturally go to La Hacienda center to, to get your permit. Or if you meet at Chula Vista, you would you would go to La Hacienda. So you would go to that regional rec center in the region for which you meet at. Yes. And then they will give you that permit and that will start for September of 25. So we actually book things out a year plus. Oh, wow. Um, And the numbers are staggering. You know, we have over 3,000 different permits that will be printed, but the hours of use is about 285,000 hours (laughs) of reservation. Wow. That's a lot. (laughs) So there's, there is a lot of lifestyle activities and programs yeah. going on between the resident lifestyle volunteer groups, the, the Enrichment Academy um, program. Then you have all your recreation of parks, um, lifestyle events that get uh, reserved and booked. And then, of course, you have your rentals and your other special events. And so it's so beautifully designed the way these rec centers have been laid out throughout the community. Because those are the numbers we want to see. We want to sure. see utilization. We want to see people, Absolutely. you know, capturing the essence of why they moved here right. and all the different programs that are available to them. But there is a tremendous amount of of hard work, you know, one of our core values by staff and um, the team 
putting all this information together because, you know, this is what we read about in the Rec and Parks publication. Uh, this is the stuff that's on our website. This is the stuff you see on uh, the stories all going out there. So there's, it's, we call it back of the house stuff that mm-hmm. makes the front of the house come together you yeah. know, right. with all, all those uh, permits and reservations. So uh, fall is moving. We got leagues coming up, the outdoor school. Uh, court schedules of course the 5k registration is is going like gangbusters um so it even though it might have been a little warm for the first day of fall it's <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful fall season it's going to be an exciting year and um man i'll tell you if you guys out there are new to the villages and you want to get involved in the enrichment academy it, you can ne- I haven't said this in a long time. There is no way you can move to the villages and say there's nothing to do. That's true, man. A hundred percent. There true. is always something to do. And uh, the pools are, uh, the pools are all open. Go for a swim. You know, go for a nice fall dip. It's getting a little brisk here at about 89 degrees. So. Yeah. <laughs> but there's yeah. always something to do. Go to districtgov.org and the district of... Um, publication comes out Thursday with the Villages Daily That's Sun. Right. Mm-hmm. So uh, give it a look over if you're new to the Villages uh, and maybe you missed the the expo. Still look through the publication. That's right. There's so much in there. Yeah. And as always, if you got an idea for a club that's not in the Villages, I can't imagine what that would be. But you could present it to uh, Recreation and Parks. They'll look it over and if it's uh, viable, you got enough people that want to do it. You guys are amazing. That's right, man. We will get it started every month. We're getting new clubs started. So, yeah, I'm glad you. you brought that up. Feel free. If you have a, a suggestion for a new activity or club, we will walk you through that process. It's uh, very seamless, uh, easy to get started, and we will be happy to get to you as the next ROVG group that we will have going on and continue those numbers. We hope to get to 4,000 at some point in time, which I have no doubt that we will. <laughs> John, thank you so much. Executive Director of Recreation and Parks, John Rohan with the Rohan Roundup. It's replacement window season in America. Many companies sell vinyl windows, but did you know there is a better solution? Renewal by Anderson's Fibrix composite material won't warp or bow over time like vinyl can. It's no wonder our Fibrix windows are replacing vinyl as the better replacement window. So why not save some money this season with Renewal by Anderson? Act now and schedule your free window diagnosis and take advantage of this incredible limited time offer. Renewal by Anderson, the better way to a better window. One of the questions I get often is, what is the best hearing aid? And the answer to that question is, whatever hearing aid that person will wear, okay? There is not one size fits all device that I can say will work absolutely perfectly for everybody because everybody's brains are different. But what makes a person successful in their hearing aids is making sure that that hearing aid is equipped for the job that it's being asked to provide. So my advice to people is to obtain the best hearing aid that you can afford to get. You spend a lot of time with your hearing aids. They are a part of your integral perception of, of quality of life, your, um, your relationships with others, your ability to work and uh, feel included in the community that you live in. There's a lot of moving parts in making somebody successful, and I like to think that um, knowledge and training and expertise in the field is a huge part of that successful piece of being a happy and um, content hearing aid wearer. Love them or hate them, these bugs can be a seasonal nuisance, but are they dwindling in numbers? Love bugs, known for wreaking havoc on your vehicle's windshield, are an invasive species to Florida. But in the past few years, there's been a noticeable decline in the number of love bugs, and that's prompted the question of their possible disappearance. 
The invasive species came to Florida sometime around the late 1950s and exploded in numbers in the years following. These March flies, more closely related to gnats and mosquitoes, are a common sight in Florida in late spring and late summer and get their name from their ability to fly around while mating. Some factors that may be affecting the decline of the love bug include smaller eggs, a rise in temperatures, and destruction of habitats. While the future of love bugs remains unclear, Dr. Norman Lepla at University of Florida IFAS says, My sense is that they're fading away and there's no reason for them to come back unless something changes in their favor. And we love that for our windshields. The annual Pajama and Book Drive is coming up soon, and we've got all the details on how you can help. The Village's Girl Scout alumni present the annual Pajama and Book Drive beginning October 1st and running through December 8th. During that time, you can drop off your donations of new pajamas and books for children up to age 18. Your donations can be dropped off at any recreation center throughout the Villages. For information, you can send an email to the address shown below. We'll be back with more from Florida's friendliest hometown. Stay with us. More Villages Lifestyle News is coming up right after this on VNN. Here's your WVLG weather forecast for the Villages brought to you by Frank Gay Services. Tuesday, it'll be partly cloudy and in the low 90s. Wednesday, again, it's partly cloudy with a 40% chance of showers. Thursday, it's temperatures in the low 80s with an 80% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Summer may be over, but at Cart World, the savings are hotter than ever. All 2024 club cars must go. Buy now and receive bonus discounts up to $2,500. Available in two, four, and six passenger with gas, electric, or lithium power. Cart World has a car for you. Don't miss out on these savings. Cart World, club cars award-winning dealer for over 35 years. Conveniently located at Lady Lake and Highway 27, 441, just south of the new PGA Superstore. Drive a little, save a lot. There is only one roofing contractor who is number one in Central Florida, one Floridians have been trusting for over 49 years. Other roofers are selling out to Wall Street and hedge funds, not us. We're still your local roofing contractor. From Spanish Springs to Brownwood to Lake Sumter Landing, Gold Key Roofing is the most trusted and most called upon roofing contractor for a reason. Trust your roof with a company who is really a part of the community. Gold Key Roofing, often imitated, never duplicated. This is VNN. Some talented villagers are aiming high in Taekwondo testing. Perseverance and an indomitable spirit are two of the five tenets of Taekwondo, and a group of villagers will need to show just how much of each of those tenets they possess as they prepare to take part in the upcoming belt promotion test. Later this month, four members of the village's Taekwondo club will travel to Tampa to take a test to earn their first black belt, while other students will test to earn a higher degree black belt. The black belt test consists of multiple form assessments, including self-defense, sparring, and board breaking. The first part of their test will take place on September 28th at Seabreeze Recreation, and the remaining portions are slated for October 5th in Tampa. We wish them the very best of luck. Coming up, we'll take a look at your village's lifestyle concerts, events, and entertainment on the squares. Stay with us. More Villages Lifestyle News is coming up right after this on VNN. When you visit Cody's, you're walking into a great bar with fantastic drink options, including two-for-one happy hour and a very cool place to eat with great food and phenomenal service. I love the BOGO fajitas every Wednesday and... We love coming here and feel like family. Just like family, with loads of smiles for you at Cody's Original Roadhouse in Brownwood and Lake Sumter Landing.
You want to enjoy your home, we know. To live well is to eat well. Knox Restorations knows you want a beautiful kitchen to enjoy your favorite meals with your family. Licensed, bonded, and insured, we can make it happen. Bathroom? We work with trusted brands and American-made materials for a squeaky clean result. <laughs> Family owned and operated for over 14 years, experienced craftsmen and design consultants. We stand on it. We'll make you look like a million. It's up to you what you tell your neighbors. And much more. So relax. Docs Restorations will take care of it all for you. One company, one source, one solution. Clap your hands and stop your feet. Time now for the Village's Entertainment Beat. I'm Natalie, here with your entertainment beat. Just a short jaunt from the polo field, Savannah Center brings a variety of productions from comedy to classical, rock to pop. Here's an overview of what's up next at Savannah Center. October brings Edge Effect Icon's vocal tribute, the rock music and costumes of Queen Nation, the Detroit soul of the Seeger experience, the grassroots with everybody's square favorite, Rocky and the Rollers, the musical soundtracks of Maestro Bill Doherty's production, The Best of Broadway. High energy of Shoot to Thrill, ACDC tribute. Take Me Home, the music of John Denver starring Jim Curry. The oohs and ahs of Haunted Illusions. The comedic treat of the Honeymooners from New York to the Villages. John Truth and Reflex, tribute to Bob Marley concert. And closing out the month of entertainment, the incredibly talented Sicilian tenors. And we're looking forward to even more productions coming to Savannah Center, like the music of Michael Buble starring Clark Berrios and the iconic moves of the Jersey Beach Boys. Tickets to Savannah Center can be found online at thevillagesentertainment.com, at a physical box office location, or over the phone. That's your beat, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, Natalie. The Villages is the place to be when it comes to great musical entertainment, and these are the bands ready to perform for you on the squares Tuesday night, brought to you by The Villages Entertainment and your Villages soundtrack, WVLG. That is all the news we have for you today. Be sure to pick up a copy of today's Daily Sun and tune your radio into WVLG while you're out there enjoying that active Villages lifestyle. We'll see you. Thanks for watching your VNN Lifestyle News Show. When cleaning your air ducts, it's important to clean the entire system. An air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer removes pounds of trapped dirt, dust, and allergens from your home completely. The cleaning improves your home's indoor air quality, keeps your home cleaner longer, and can even improve the efficiency of your HVAC system. We want you to have the cleanest and healthiest indoor air possible, so call for a free inspection today. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. Sunshine. The sunshine. 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 It makes
makes you happy. So happy because I'm happy. Clap along. You love great music. It makes you smile. You make me smile. Make me smile. Your Village's soundtrack, WVLG.